Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we're checking out max level Jin versus Aurelian Souls. So we have Jin at level 30 with three stars. For the star powers, every fourth fast spell, slow spell, or skill you play create a zero cost captive audience in hand. So you see that right here, it's going to be a zero cost, deal three to an enemy or stun an enemy. Then we have setting the stage, when an ally plays a skill, grant them 1-1. One, one. This is a great way to passively scale up our units, really strong two star right here. For relics, we're really going for a wombo combo type of setup. So when I level up stun all enemies, when I level up rally, and then plunder, play cannon barrage a number of time equal to my cost. These cannon barrages, it counts as a skill, so it triggers all of our star powers, but also contributes to his level up. So this will often help you level up very quickly or when you play him. Since you're leveling up, you're then stunning everyone and rallying. Now when he attacks, especially when he is leveled up, attack deal four damage to all stunned enemies and the enemy nexus. So we're going to hopefully stun the entire enemy board, attack, be able to deal four damage to all of them and the nexus and potentially just end the game with this combination right here. That's what we're trying for. Before we get into it though, just wanna say a quick thank you and a massive thank you to all of our awesome members that help support the channel by going that extra mile. Really, really appreciate it. Just as a reminder, all members get access to our weekly update videos, our monthly members hangouts, and when I'm given game keys by companies, I prioritize giving out those keys to the members first. So if you wanna become a member, hit that join button down below and let's get into the video. All right, in game, as far as powers, we we're able to get out of the gates. So we summon a two cost unit from our deck. Pretty decent. Reset, game start, create three chrono breaks in your deck. See that right here. This probably won't help us too much, but could become clutch in some situations. Disarmed, enemies have negative one. And then evolution, allies have one one for each keyword. Very strong power, but honestly not the greatest for Jin because a lot of his units don't actually have keywords. So it will help out, but not as much as most other decks. For support champions, we have Fizz with that Reckoner's Mark. Some synergy since Fizz scales with playing a lot of spells, but nothing too crazy. We're normally just using him as a removal unit, but can be helpful in some situations. All right, I think here we wanna go for this item chest if possible. So we have another Jin against Perfected Mana Flow. All right, not bad, but I think we'll get rid of the Risen Mists. We'll hold on to the rest. All right, we'll play a Fizz here just to get rid of their unit. All right, I think let's just attack like this. We'll attack like this and see what they do. We have some other things that could help us deal some extra damage, though. All right, they didn't want to play anything. They're probably going to try to kill our Fizz. Beautiful, is it not? So let's just Mystic Shot to get rid of that spell. What good's power if you're not going to use it? All right, I think let's just play our Crack Shot Corsair. That is a bit annoying. I always hate this card. Ah, oh, well, don't think there's anything we can really do to stop that. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so our Lotus Traps aren't really close to triggering. Those were important for our Nexus damage. I think let's maybe just play a Thermo Beam to get rid of this unit. Alright, fine with our Fizz dying. 
They look on and the music swells. Alright, so we're going to attack like this first, dealing as much damage as we can. This is going to trigger our plunder effect, and we'll then play Jin to try to capitalize on that. Oh, forgot that our Jin had the uh, quick strike blade. The stage is set. Beautiful, is it not? Our performance begins. We must all play our part. So we immediately level up, stun everyone, rally. If this wasn't going to end the game, we could probably attack again and be all set. Take your place and our show will begin. I'll be. So many spells and skills. Oh, GG. Well, our combo worked out uh, pretty great there. Don't really like any of these, to be honest. I guess we'll go with the drum solo, but yeah, I don't really like any of these. Alright, item chest. I think we'll grab the Mist Wraith here and just really hope we get something like Sorcery later so we can play this almost for free. Alright, Tom Kench with Perfected Mana Flow. Alright, let's get rid of the Coral Creatures. I think we will hold on to the rest though. Alright, don't really think we have a way to deal with him, so we'll just play our Boom Crew Rookie. Alright, Mana Soul Student, great card. For Jin, you really want units that have skills that can keep going off multiple times. So the Rookie and the Mana Soul Student are pretty great for that. Uh, I think we'll keep the Marksman as a blocker. So we don't really have mana to play Jin, sadly, but we'll just get a small army of blockers. Well, we could have technically played Jin. We need to get the plunder effect off, so that's why we didn't have the extra mana to trigger that first. I think let's just make him regret choosing this champion or unit to bite. So we won't quite be able to kill him, but we will let, leave him weak enough that he's not really going to be able to pose much of a threat, hopefully. Although we maybe would have wanted to save that for triggering a spell next round. Hope I didn't need that. Oh, I don't require a menu. Right, we're gonna play the Corsair. I never miss. Oh, don't go for the Corsair. He's gonna go for the Corsair, isn't he? Ah, oh, that sucks. Allow me a small. All right, we're just going to attack with everything. We need to get some amount of Nexus damage so we can play our Jin. Another nibble. Scratch. 
All right, Jin should be able to just wipe the board with them. Art requires a certain cruelty. I will give them a show to remember. The animations do somewhat take forever. So much is happening. We must all play our part. Places, people. Right on All right, GG. So this combo does definitely take some setup, but if you pull it off, it is very, very strong. I will go for the Prefect here, that Fearsome giving us an extra 1-1 one, one from the Evolution power we picked up. All right, let's see what we can get from the shop, but let's quickly leave to see. Okay, so there's no other like epic shops right here that can sometimes spawn. Welcome gifts, this will be great, giving us more keywords, which will just give us more buffs. So we'll grab that. And we'll buy one copies of these for the far sight. Not bad. And while there are some decent cards in here, like the Fleet Admiral, uh, none of them would really work for our current playstyle, so we'll just leave. And yeah, I think let's go for the champion item chest. So Zed with Unyielding. All right, we know we're going to draw this, so let's replace that. And I think we're fine with the rest. Nice that we start with the attack token. Um, I... Well... I think I'll just hold off and play anything. And just try to do a good amount of damage here. Well, that's a little annoying, but Fizz will take care of that. Pledge yourself to the shadows. So we could play the stage hand, but we'd want to benefit from the attack. I think we'll just play Double Trouble so we have plenty of units to block whatever he throws at us. Alright, so we'll go like this and like this. We got some pretty good units summoned. Alright, we have just enough mana. Let's attack. We'll be able to hit the Nexus, should be at least once. Then we can play our Jin and hopefully end the game. I am a true master. An now he probably won't level up since we've only done one spell or skill, but should still be fine. Yep, even without leveling up. Oh, right. It would have been GG. Let's see. So, I think we could level up right here if we do this, this, and this. Yes, so that will get us to level up when we could rally and then end the game. I have prepared something Wonderful. <laughs> you can do better than I hear it now. The thunderous applause. Come on. 
I will allow for no mistake. Justice light my way. All right, GG. <laughs> The Rainbow Fish is just too expensive. Sunhawk with the stun, not too bad, but I think getting the Prefect with the Ephemeral with that Quick Strike Blade could be doing a lot of damage. It's gonna get 3-3 from this, plus the Ephemeral, because it's another keyword, should give us an additional 1-1 one, one from Evolution. So this could deal a nice chunk of damage to the enemy Nexus, even though it will die. Our champion item chest. Ooh, this one's tough. So. This would give us actually 2-2 two, two because of the extra keyword, but Farsight, how many do we have currently in our deck? So we currently have four gins. Farsight would be the more consistent option um, and probably better in most situations. Uh, however, I kind of want to go for the more crazy scaling option. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Tooth here. But if you wanted for consistency, just make sure you win. Uh, you probably want to go for the far sight. For me, actually winning against Aurelian Soul doesn't really matter. I don't need the extra XP or anything. My count's fully maxed. So I like to sometimes go for the more risky plays. All right, healer. Let's see. So I think here, even though some of these are more expensive cards, I want to get rid of the Marksman. It's not that great of a card, and then because of our one power out of the gates, we don't want to be summoning this unit for free at the start of the game, because it's pretty much useless. His one effect is a play effect, so him getting summoned for free makes him even worse. Uh, so I think let's cut him so we just don't have him at the start of the game. So Azir with Unyielding. All right, we'll get rid of the stage hand and the drum solo. We'll keep the other two. We don't have the attack token. This is my only chance. Not too bad, though. Let's just play our Fizz, get rid of our one unit. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think I will hold on to our Fizz and not sacrifice him here. They're probably going to play Azir. Alright, we'll... Yeah, I think we'll play our Mana Soul Student. So cool. Yeah, let's just go for the extra... Extra damage here. Let's play the Prefect, just dealing a nice chunk of damage. Although their attack is probably going to hurt. Don't think there's really anything we could do. Well, I guess we could play the Stage Hand here just to make sure they can't attack with Azir. That'd probably save us a lot of Nexus damage. Yeah, we'll go for that. We are at the threshold of something great. Okay, perfect. So they can't even attack. If they do attack, though, it's going to be bad, because they're going to summon a lot of Sand Soldiers. I think let's do the Crackshot Corsair. Okay, good. They didn't attack. And this has Elusive. Perfect. So we'll attack like this, we'll get our Nexus damage down, and then we can play our Jin. Alright, this will hopefully be GG.
And he's even elusive. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, this should be pretty good. Prepare for your finale. Hear us. I have prepared something very special. Right, and then we'll just attack again and end the game. GG. Alright, barrier, giving us some protection so our free attack shouldn't kill us. Also the fact that this is going to give us another 1-1 one, one from the evolution, pretty good. Alright, spells cost one less. Hold it, not bad. We do have a decent amount of spells, so I guess we'll go with this. Alright, shop, we have Fiora with unstable. Right, we'll give it to the stage hand, and I think we'll actually hold on to the rest of these. Yeah. Having some extra CC for Fiora could be pretty good. Alright, let's just... Kill that guy. Right, what does this create again? All right. All right. Let's go for Boom Crew Rookie and Crack Shot Corsair. Hmm. So we could attack like this. And then Chrono Break and attack again. That could be pretty funny. Got us covered. All right, I think let's go for Mark of the Isles to kill that unit. Well, hope this works. Let's do a Chrono Break, revive our one unit that died, and attack again. And I think this should be GG. Yep. Nice. Captain's orders. Pull it to the face. So that Chrono Break power really came in clutch there for us. It's one that can be completely useless, but some games can really help you out. Uh, I think let's go for the Risen Myth... Ra <laughs> Risen Mists, goodness. Uh, Sapphire Crystal. Again, if we could get something that further reduces this down, could be great for us since we have so many upgrades on it. Our right, epic shop, let's go. Alright, so decent upgrade from Mark of the Isles. Let's see for powers. When you summon an ally, deal one to the enemy nexus. This could be good for our Jin since uh, he has that plunder effect on him. But we're not summoning that many units. This isn't bad, but we have four rerolls. I kind of want to try to get something a bit better. Could be good. Could let's play Jin like one earlier, but All right, when you summon a one-cost ally, grant it two-two. We don't have a lot of one-cost units. Crackshot Corsair and Fizz. Although our double trouble will summon some. Ah, uh, fine. Whatever. That's decent. Alright, let's get this Mark of the Isles. And then Elixir of Iron actually wouldn't be bad because it's going to summon... Oh, it would summon a one-cost unit, 
but this is actually going to be free because of our one upgrade, so this actually won't really summon anything helpful. Let's do a reroll here. I think we'll go for the Trinket trade, since it'll let us manifest a Otterpus, so a one-cost unit, and then the Otter is pretty pretty good, and then the Hero's Horn, giving us some extra draw for Jin. Not terrible. Uh, we would have gotten this one, but didn't have quite enough gold for it. A little sad there. All right, I think we'll just move on. So Nautilus with power overwhelming. All right, we'll get rid of the stagehand, keep the rest. We do have some decent one drops, but not anything too crazy. Let's play the rookie. Alright, nice amount of early damage. Time to go. Forgive me. Alright, let Fizz take care of that. And then do a trinket trade. Uh, yes, let's make their stun be a little bit more expensive. So I think we'll open attack, get a large amount of damage down. I mean, we might almost end the game. And then we'll play our Jin. Yeah, we have enough to end the game with this attack. Pretty hilarious. I guess we could have played the Risen Mist here to attack with them. I don't think this would count. I guess we could play this. I guess we'll play both of these. Oh, so that one counts for Fizz, even though it's not targeting him. Okay, we'll just let this go through then. Alright, GG. Alright, Otterpus with Last Breath. Pretty good. Although, giving this unit three more stats, also really strong. Uh, I think we'll go for the Otterpus though, but this is definitely a great choice to also go for. Alright, Swain with Perfected Mana Flow. Yep, I think we'll go with this. Having our two Fizz, make sure we're going to draw our Jin, so that's not bad. There we are. I think we'll play a Fizz here. I have my orders. Let's just get rid of their one blocker. Alright, that's not bad. Nice chunk of damage already. So if they attack, we can have our Otterpus die, and then we can attack. Gotcha. Alright, so we are going to attack. With our Fizz dealing damage to... Yeah, so we'll attack. Then we'll have the Plunder so we can play Jin and end the game. I feel like we spent half the time just watching this animation. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, we've reached the limit of the amount of spells and skills that can be on the stack, so we can't play anymore, which is kind of funny to me. Interesting that they gave us our rally. I mean, I guess let's attack again. And we will be able to rally again because of his level up, although Fizz should just finish him off. Take your All right, GG. All right, giving our phase tough and another 1-1 one, one as far as stats, pretty good. So Aurelian Soul with Perfected Mana Flow. Um, looks like a pretty good opening hand. I'm fine with this. Man, they already start with six mana, pretty rough. And the attack token. <laughs> I think let's play this free. Then pull out our Otterpus. Shroud the world in wings. So I think Fizz will die most likely because some of the upgrades for him don't trigger until after the strike. But let's see. Let yep. <laughs> kind of what I figured. Uh, both of these. Alright, so it's good that we know they have these in their hand. Let's make this cost a little bit more. Alright, we'll pass. To me. Oh, Max Little Viego, not good. Ah, uh, that sucks. Pretty much the worst thing you could possibly get. That's pretty bad. And they already could play Aurelian Soul. I think we kind of got screwed over on this one. Because Jin's not that slow, but you need to get to four mana, but... Yeah, this is not the best. If you do not have a part to play, take one. Embrace your faith as I have mine. The heavens diminish without my attention. Such majesty. I will make this right. So we're not going to be able to kill Viego. Ah, uh, it's not good. Because even if we play Fizz, he's going to strike Aurelian Soul. Yeah, this is not the best for us. From the Forger of Stars. I do love an audience. She's almost as old as me. Almost. Alright, let's go like this. I think grab a Autopus here. So, we could play a Jin, but... Wouldn't really help us at all. Because he'll attack, but without getting his Plunder effect off, it's not really going to be too beneficial. Trying to think of a way out of this, but I'm not really coming up with anything. I mean, I guess we'll play an octopus here. That seems a little excessive for one unit. Not gonna lie.
So if we play Fizz, he's just going to end up dying to Aurelian's soul. If we play the Prefect, it's probably also going to die to Aurelian's soul. I guess Mana Soul Student will be another blocker. That's probably the best thing we can do at this moment. Everyone here is so cool. Okay, good. That won't quite kill him. So yeah, we're going to pass. We need to survive till next round. Wow. Wait, that's not going to do anything. Perfect. So they're just like playing their whole hand. <laughs> okay, this is fine. So we're going to let this kill Viego. That'll be great. And this will stop Aurelian Soul. Yeah, this is probably the best thing we can do. Killing Viego is big, and we are surviving. Perfect. Now they'll pay attention. So, we need to do some damage to their Nexus somehow in order to play our Jin, But we haven't really drawn anything that's going to help us. I guess let's play this. Hope we draw something decent. Well, that's kind of something. Alright, let's go for a bit of a cheesy... <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go for this. So this probably isn't going to work, but we're just going to throw as much at the wall as we can. Alright, we're just going to revive everything, and that should include all the fizz that we sacrificed. play the prank here. So the good thing is they don't have a lot of cards. Uh, we could attack, it would kind of be pointless. We're going to save this for next turn to deal damage to the Nexus and then play Jin. If we win this game it's going to be a little crazy. They're still probably not going to give us... Like, we need to play this. If they just open attack, we're kind of screwed. Yep. So we were about to be able to play Jin, but nothing really we can do. We have our captive audience, but they all have spell shield. Um, so we almost could have pulled it off, but it just took a little bit too slow or too long. All right, we have our revive. We're going to try again. Honestly, perfected mana flow is... Pretty much the worst power for Aurelian Soul to have, especially if you're a deck that just needs... like Unless, unless you're a deck that's going to win in the first round, Perfected Mana Flow is the worst because they just scale too fast. Uh, but yeah, we'll try again. We possibly will be able to get it, but we'll have to see. Alright, a lot of one draw units. That's great. Yeah. 
We, again, we don't start with the attack token. Not great. Alright, that's something Fizz should be able to at least survive from. Also, we just had terrible luck of them getting Viego. That's like the worst possible thing. And they get it again. Perfect. Alright, we are somewhat screwed. <laughs> yeah, Viego's like the worst possible person they could get. And they got it twice in a row, so that's not the best. I think let's maybe go with the stage hand. Yeah, let's stun their regen unit, I guess. Ah, uh, that's not good. Shroud the world in wings. I know what I must do. So we're trying to get the Viego down because we really need to kill him, but don't really know if there's anything we're going to be able to do, which sucks. Yeah, again, we could play Jin, but without getting the plunder effect off, we're somewhat screwed. That being said, I think if we don't play Jin, like, we don't really have anything better to do. So, yeah, we'll just go with this. isn't great. So we can stun him, but we don't have any option to stun more. So yep, I think we're just screwed here. Alright, so that was obviously quite disappointing. The combo is very fun, but it does take some setup. So if you're going against a champion that's just going to rush you down really early, uh, clearly, that is a weakness of the build. Honestly, Mana Flow on Aurelian Soul is really the worst. I would rather take Duplicate pretty much 9 times out of 10, if not more, over Mana Flow for Aurelian Soul. Also, Viego, leveled up Viego, having them create that is pretty much the worst possible scenario. And the fact they got that twice in a row is pretty bad. Uh, fun run overall, other than the ending. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me get destroyed. People generally like it when I lose matches. And yeah, sometimes you can pretty much have the best possible run, but if Aurelian Soul high rolls on you and just gets all the right things, sometimes there's not really anything you can do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. Again, a massive shout out to all of our awesome members. And I hope you have a great day.